Hi, today I thought I'd share with you my second You Can Be Makeup Mystery Box. Um, just got this from Amazon Prime, paid $34.99 for it, uh, free shipping, two days. And I got this about six or seven days ago, and I had a chance to open everything up and play around with it. So, um, But I thought I'd put it back in the box to just show you what all I got. So um, let's start off with the palettes that this box came with. So this box came with four eyeshadow palettes, one face palette, a collection of five lipsticks, which I think is my favorite thing in the whole box. Uh, came with some all-purpose terracotta like highlighter slash blushes and it came with several like four other little items um, in addition to all that so for $34.99 like I said I already had a chance to play around with the products I think just like the first box the quality in this box is just really good it's good quality for really what amounts to drugstore prices it's all cruelty free you can be as a cruelty free brand so um, I'm just loving this this brand and the products that I've got so far. So let's show first the palettes that I got, the eyeshadow palettes. So the first one is called My Honey, and I think this is probably a dupe for a fancy brand out there. I think there's a couple of YouTube videos that talked about that. Uh, but this one is so pretty. First of all, the packaging is really cute, but look at the shades that come with it. I'll show you. I think they are gorgeous very beautiful there's some mattes there's some shimmers a couple of darker shades this shade right here makes me think of honey the most I love this shade it's like a mustard yellow but just I think the color story and just the presentation is, is quite lovely and beautiful I swatched them I even applied I made an eye, eye look out of it um, the other day it's beautiful so this is one of my favorite palettes so far that I have from you can be Anyway, it's called the My Honey Palette. Uh, the next palette is called Gold Luster. And um, I don't know if this is a dupe of anything, but I love the shades. And I've used it a few times in the week since I've had this box. So it comes with a mirror. But here's the shades. Aren't they beautiful? Um, like like really neutral, rose-ish. Um, I just think they're so beautiful, so pretty. I, this is one of my favorite. I love this shade right here. But you can make like a sultry look, a smoky eye look. You can make a more um, soft, pretty, light daytime look out of this palette. It's just so, so pretty. I love it. It's called Gold Luster. Then the next palette I got is called Altered. And I've seen this, a few people talk about this on YouTube and online. I don't know if it's a dupe for anything, but um, the packaging is interesting, so I like the packaging, but here are the shades, and I've made a couple eye looks with this palette already, and I love it. Um, these light shades really have some pretty high color payoffs for as light and shimmery as they are. My favorite, though, is this brick red and this like blue. Now, I have noticed when I apply the blue to my eyelid using like a flesh-colored primer, it doesn't come out as this blue. It's more like a steely gray, like a steely bluish gray shade, but still, I think it's gorgeous. I love it. So just just for the brick shade in this shade alone, along with these like light shimmers and pretty like salmon pink there, is why I love this palette so much. But um, altogether, I think the quality is really good, and I love the color options that you have out of this palette. And then the last palette I got in this box... Uh, this one I can sort of take it or leave it, but that's okay because I love the other three so much, it doesn't matter. <laughs> this is more just sort of a plain Jane palette. It's the Miss Rosé, and this is the number three palette. I guess they come, they're desig the color stories are designated by numbers on the back, so this is number three. And it's just browns and tans is all it is. There's no shimmers or anything, just, just um, matte browns and tans and khakis, but that's okay could always use that in an eyeshadow look so that's that one um, okay but I have to say the first three palettes I love 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 and my favorite is the my honey I think so far out of this box now next I got a full face palette called remodeling and I went 
I can't remember if I was on the You Can Be website or Amazon website. I can't remember, but it, it looks as if they, they come in various versions, like um, maybe color tone ver or color story versions or whatever, based and they're designated by letters on the back. So I have the A version, and I think they have a B and a C and whatnot, but I have A. So this is what the remodeling face palette in the version A looks like. I love it. Um, I'm using this right here, this blush right here right now called Orgasm. It's like a shimmery peach, but they have more of a matte peach on this side. Um, they have a bronzer and a contour shade here. They have a couple highlighters on this side and then some really pretty eyeshadow shades on the bottom. Um, I'm just now build, building a makeup collection and basically I'm building my collection through the You Can Be Mystery Boxes. <laughs> Again, because they're cruelty free and the, the prices are so affordable, I thought, why not? So um, I love having this full face palette um, in in my my beginning collection. It's going to be really useful. I'm going to have fun learning how to use it, learning how to contour. I probably won't do too much of that, but I do need to like lose some weight on my face, so maybe I can learn how to contour my chin a little bit, maybe my forehead. Um, so I can play around with that. I don't have, I only have one blush and it's like a pinkish blush. So I love having peach, a peach, um, two different peach blushes to choose from. So again, I just love, um, I love this palette and I'm happy to have gotten it in the, um, in the box. Now the next thing to share, this is my favorite and these are the lipsticks. So I got so lucky. I, a couple people that have shown their YouTube, shown their You Can Be Mystery Boxes on YouTube also had these. Not everybody did, and so I was hoping so much that I might get it, and I did on the second box. So first of all, look at the packaging. Look how pretty it is. I love the You Can Be logo with this like elegant looking lady with a beautiful gown, like a, a profile of this lady with her hair in a bun. It's just so elegant and so feminine and pretty and beautiful. So the lipsticks, if you pull out the lipsticks from this package, they look like this. And the lipsticks also have that lovely logo or that lovely packaging on them. It's so, so pretty. So these lipsticks are, I guess you call them bullet lipsticks. Um, and I'm going to pull each of them out. There's five of them and show you the colors. I've already, I've used every single one of them. Like I said, I've had this box for about a week now. I've experimented, used them all. I have drank, you know, like cans of pop with this lipstick on and ate. And they, for the most, they're, they're not perfect. They're not like a 12-hour wear, 8-hour wear lipstick. But they they stay on pretty well. <laughs> You're like drinking a can of soda or pop and it still is on your lips. That, I think, is pretty good. And eating lunch and you still have the color pigment on your lips. So... I feel like these are pretty good quality, and again, for the price, it's just crazy. Um, beautifully pigmented, and the other thing that I really like about them is how creamy and soft they are on your lips. They're real comfortable to wear. So the first one, this is my favorite. I'll swatch this real quick on my wrist, but this one's Rambling Rose. I love the shade. My lighting, I probably can't do it justice on, on my lighting. I don't have like fancy lighting, but <laughs> can you tell how pretty that is? Just a lovely, soft, elegant, understated rose shade. It's beautiful. Um, so that's Rambling Rose. The next shade is called, so I'll, I'll swatch all of them real quick, Sheer Girl. This one's called Sheer Girl. Kind of... A, a nude, a curl slash nude shade, maybe? I don't know. Let's, let's swatch it. So that's what that shade looks like. Very pretty. When I put it, it's not really that sheer. Like when I put it on my lips, there's plenty of pigment on there. So if I want it to be like a wash, a sheer wash of color, of course I have to either dab it with a tissue or just lightly use my fingers or whatever and put it on. But it is a pretty shade. Very pretty. Okay, the next one is called blood orange this one is fun it's very bold i don't know if i'll ever have the nerve to wear it <laughs> out maybe someday i will i don't know with the right outfit or the right i don't know the right occasion but 
I still think it's a blast to have it in my collection. If I ever feel adventuresome, maybe I'll pull it out. But look, look at it just out of the tube like that. Look how bright and bold it is. And let's do a swatch real quick. Oh, there you go. After, it's funny because I swear the one that's called Sheer Girl is a little bit more darker than, almost seems as dark as the one that's not Sheer. <laughs> this blood orange, but it's very pretty. Look at that pretty orange, fiery, reddish orange shade. Real pretty. Very, very beautiful. Uh, the next shade is... I need to make... Oh, this one. Okay, this one was a real surprise. It's called Sparkling... I think it's called Sparkling Magenta. I don't have my glasses. I think it's called Sparkling Magenta. And when I when I pulled it out of the tube, I couldn't tell what was magenta. I think of magenta as being maybe a little more, I might be wrong, but isn't magenta got a little more purple in it? Like a little bit more purple. And this looked a little bit more like brickish red. And I was confused why they would call it magenta. And I didn't know what they meant by sparkling. But I'm going to swatch it. And I don't know if you could tell. Let's see if you can tell. I'm going to put it on my lid. I don't think you could tell. But. When you put this on your lips, you it, it is, I feel like even here, that seems a little bit more magenta than, doesn't that look more magenta than the, the bullet that you see? I mean, this looks more like a magenta shade. It doesn't really look like it out of a tube. <laughs> but what's really neat about it is when you put it on your lips, there's the sheer wash of glitter, not, not, not glitter, um, gold shimmer. And it's not glitter. It's not like big flux of glitter on your lips. That would be ugly. I would not like that at all. It's not that. <coughs> Excuse me. It's more just a very subtle wash of a gold shimmer embedded in the magenta lipstick when it's on your lip. It's, it's quite pretty. Now, it's still a little bit darker for me. I'm, I'm older now and my lips are thin and I'm short featured anyway. So I tend to stay away from dark lipsticks. But if I was one that could pull off a dark lipstick, I would absolutely love to wear this because it, the shade is quite lovely. But when you, when you add that wash of gold shimmer, subtle, subtle gold shimmer to the lips, I just think it's very pretty. I've never seen anything like that. But it's beautiful. And then lastly is a shade called Milk Tea. And I'm wearing that right now. And um, it's so pretty. I'll show you right there. And it's kind of like a nude. It's like a, maybe a little, t I don't know, is there coral in there? Is there like a, a, it's like a really warm nude shade. And again, it's called Milk Tea. And that's what it looks like. So really, it's like a nude. It's a pretty nude shade. I thought that worked with my eyeshadow today, but beautiful. So the next two things to share with you are these two terracotta pans, multi-purpose, um, beautiful terracotta pans. They're called, what are they called? Hollywood by Party Queen is what they're called. <laughs> and they come in, I have the number two version and the number nine version. And I think they're they're both very very beautiful. I'll show them to you. So the number two is a light, almost like a raspberry pink shade. So beautiful. Can you see that? It's a beautiful, bright, pretty light pink shade with a white, um, shimmery swirl. It's gorgeous. And then the number nine shade is a lot darker. It's like a rich pink, like a rich peachy pink almost, it looks to me, with a um, swirl of a deep rich bronze inside there. And I've experimented with these both dry and wet, like using a wet sponge or using a, a blush brush and just using it like that. Um, and they're beautiful. This, this is definitely a bronzer for me anyway. For my skin, this comes across as a beautiful peachy pink bronzer is what this comes across as and it's very very pretty this probably would work better for me once I'm a little bit more tan later in the summer this one is just so flattering it's so light and airy and 
like I, I, it makes me think of like a raspberry pink or something. I don't know. It's just cheerful and pretty and a subtle pink with a shimmer wash to it. When I use it dry and put it on like my skin, like my cheeks, for example, as a blush, your skin shines through it. So it's just a wash of a pretty pink uh, flushed kind of look. It's beautiful. Um, and I played around with these because I said, I, like I said, I've had these for a couple several days now about a week now I've used them as a bron I've played around with it to look for it as a bronzer um, I've used it as eyeshadow blush highlighter and I even for this one I dabbed it in water and put it on my lips to kind of see if I can put a little shimmer to my lipstick and it was really pretty that way too so you can get multitude of uses out of these things so I really like those so the next item I got is a well, it's called a highlighter slash concealer stick, but it's the wrong shade for me to be either of those two things. But I, again, fooled around and played around with this in the last few days, and I've used this as a contour stick. I'm trying to learn how to contour. So this is like a tan shade. This shade is number three. So for me, because I'm light complected, this comes across as a deep tan shade. Well, um, like a medium tan shade, but I can use it as a contour, I think, so I'm happy to have that. And then the last three items are duplicates. The first one is that came in this box uh, as the Natural Perfection Foundation in shade number two, Nude, which is what I already got in my last box, but it's the perfect shade for me. I'm wearing it right now, um, so you know, it works for me because I'm fair complected. Um, I like the finish. It goes on easily. It has a little bit of a medicinal sort of smell to it when you first put it on, but it, it that evaporates soon thereafter, so that's not a big deal. Um, so I like having this in my collection, and I'm using it, so I don't mind having a second one. The next duplicate I got is the eyeliner gel in soft brown. I was hoping if I was going to get another eyeliner gel, it would be a different color, like purple or blue or something like that. But it's the same dark uh, soft brown that I had the last time. So I love it. I love the formula. I've been playing around with it. I've been using it and experimenting with it. I love it, but I don't need two of these. I'm sure I won't get to this one before it expires. So I'm going to give this to a friend. And then lastly, I got another glitter paste in the same shade or same color that I got in my first box, which is color number 11, which is this purple shade. So I don't need two of these. I was hoping if I was going to get another glitter paste, I'd get like a pink or some other shade, but I got the same purple, but that's okay. I'm just going to give this to a coworker or a friend who will have fun with it. So overall, even though I had a handful of duplicates, I'm totally fine with that. I got so many other items that I'm really, really enjoying. I love the quality. I love the color stories, the palettes. The, I love everything about them. I'm absolutely happy with this second mystery box that I got. Um, so anyway, uh, I look forward to kind of playing around with and experimenting with some new looks that I can come out, that can um, I can create with this, this makeup. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for um, watching this video, and take care.